Hi, I'm Josh Ozersky, and I'm here on eHow Food making the Bacon Explosion V2. Now you may remember the Bacon Explosion from a couple of years ago. It was a culinary meme that swept the country. Uh, it was a recipe that went viral, and cavemen from coast to coast were making bacon lattice works around the sausage stuffing. Now, what I've done is I have gotten a little something here that is a new, improved filling. Now, you'll note that this is foil, which usually I would never use under any circumstances in grilling or barbecuing. But I needed something that was soft, braised, gedempta, and that something is, of course, a pork belly. Yes, I am making a bacon explosion with bacon in the middle. This is not actually a cured pork belly, technically speaking. I've just braised it in foil with some soy sauce and some garlic and some pepper and a little bit of uh, hot sauce. Uh, but it is very, very soft indeed. All right, so I'm going to put this aside. Okay, bacon slice left to right. I set up my XY or my Y bacon axis. And then I do another one, a, a lattice as it were, that goes underneath it so. You'll note that this is not the best made bacon lattice work. I won't deny that. The important thing is that it all roll up together. Okay. So there we have a crude bacon lattice. Now, into the center of this, I'm going to first lay down some potatoes. See, the idea isn't that the bacon explosion just has the pork belly in the middle. I want to have some potatoes around it to absorb all that delicious bacon grease. I'm going to take my pork belly, Put it on like so. I'm going to protect it a little bit. There's potatoes on it. What I now have here, loosely speaking, is a pork belly and a bunch of potato and a bunch of bacon. And maybe what I'll do is I'll drizzle a little something just for flavor. A little bit of salt because this isn't salty enough. Maybe a little pepper. And now I'm going to roll it up. I think I'm going to need more bacon for this. We'll get some top straps going here. The beauty part about the bacon is that it shrinks as it cooks, so it seizes up and binds together. So let's get one strapping laterally. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some cling wrap to help me pick this up and squeeze it all together. So we'll go like so. Push this down. Okay, so we get it in, we squeeze it, try to impose some shape on it. Now I remove my saran wrap, which is hideously greasy and revolting, and I'll put a little bit of coarse black pepper on top of the bacon because it's nice to give it, make it acrid, and uh, it also gives it a nice appearance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the queue, and I'm going to put it on the cold side. It's been a good 20 to 25 minutes that it's been in there cooking away. I'm going to take it out and that is going to be the Ozersky version of the bacon explosion. Let us see how it looks. Ah, there we are. The loaf of loaves. Bacon inside of bacon with bacon potatoes in between. I'm Josh Ozersky and this is eHow Food.